several years ago i had to use my um, launch money to buy mobile data to connect my laptop to the internet because we were given an assignment in school back then and i had no choice but to connect my laptop to the internet so i did i bought about three gigabytes of mobile internet data and after like 10 minutes of connecting the laptop to my internet i discovered the signal was down and you know the web pages were very slow in opening and all that after a while i had to like check my data balance and to my greatest surprise i made zero megabytes balance and i was so confused i had to call the internet service provider i was using and they told me there's nothing they can do about it that i was the one that used it so i had to look for an alternative then and after then it occurred like twice again and that was when i decided to look for what was really the problem so after much research i discovered um several things which caused or resulted to my pc or my laptop draining mobile data and that's what i want to share with us today now the number one thing to change on your laptop or your pc to prevent your mobile data from draining drastically is to set your connection as metered connection and this is what i'm well, this is what i want to show you right now so what you do is to click on your um connection icon here your internet access connection icon click on it then click on the name of your um internet or your wi-fi that you've connected to it bring you here it doesn't matter if you're on windows 11 or windows 10 uh for mac users this video might not be appropriate for you because i know little or nothing about mac so but for windows users this is for you so click on it now on default on default this metered connection here it's toggled on because i turned it on i toggled this on but on default on yours is going to be off like this so you should turn this on so this will prevent um your pc or your laptop from draining data or just you know using data unnecessarily do you understand thereby capping some background um resources from draining your data this helped a lot in short this was the first thing i did and i noticed a big difference do you understand but when I applied the pre the subsequent one I'm going to share with you, with us now, it helped it it helped a lot. You understand? So turn this on. It should also, this should be on always. So whether you're connecting your laptop to your phone or to a Wi-Fi or a router, as long as you're on a budget when it comes to connecting your PC to the internet, turn this on. Trust me, this is going to help you a lot now another um tip is to turn off background apps and how do you do that how do you turn off background apps so you press your window key you type background apps then you click on it either your windows 10 or 11 you turn you, you you this step is the same now under the background apps by default this will be on so if you bought your laptop new just know that this will be on if you bought it used and you know because obviously they will they must have formatted or installed a fresh windows on the laptop this will be on by default so make sure you turn this off so because every apps that are installed on your pc or your laptop most of them run in the background even while you're not using them or why they are not opened so when they are running the background they tend to want to update their um softwares you know automatically and this is where these settings helps you it restricts all the apps from running in the background and using your data trust me this will make a huge difference in your data usage so the third um thing to do the third tip is to disable automatic updates especially for windows you should disable automatic update because 
uh, I've been using PC for several years now. I think since before I was even eight years old, I've been using PC. So when it comes to Windows updates, I have not really seen that difference or that major advantage in updating Windows. I have not. Maybe if you have, please put it in the comment section. But for me, I have not. So they just tend to because there was a time I actually did update the Windows and my PC was malfunctioning. You understand? It wasn't shutting down rightly. It was just giving some little glitches here and there. And that's when I decided not to update Windows. Instead, if I have any drivers I want to update, I will go to the um manufacturer site of that particular component and download the driver straight from them i don't go through the route of windows update anymore so to disable windows update you click on your windows key on your keyboard then you type windows update now i just want to show you this as you can see that uh they are obviously updates i'm supposed to install but i've disabled them already you understand it's going to obviously tell you your device is missing some important security fixes and all that blah 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 trust me in this part of the country where i come from we don't give each we don't we don't really care about these little uh things not because they are not that important but because we, they are not i have not think they are perfected like completely to function with every third apps on your uh, pc that's when when you update sometimes you start having you start having issues with your pc maybe doing some irregularities and all that so it's telling me obviously that i'm not up to it because i've disabled it and this way you check and if it is on you obviously see it downloading you see everything that it has downloaded all the updates it has downloaded you're going to see it right here so if you want to disable this there's a back end or there's another route which you can use to disable it permanently you understand until you restart your pc now to do that you press your windows key you type services say so these services the, so you come here so it's going to bring you here then you scroll down until you see windows update you scroll down then this is it windows update then you double click on it now by default it will be on either automatic or manual it's going to be on either of these three automatic delete start automatic or manual so if this is not on disabled please select disabled select disabled and if this stop button is highlighted when you get here you click on it to stop it that means you're trying to stop whatever windows update is going on in the background at that point in time so you stop it then you click on what apply and okay trust me this is really really going to help and then another advice i always give is if immediately you turn on your pc or on your laptop and you know you're going to connect it to the internet at that point in time once you turn or boot up your pc immediately come here and check because most times after a while this windows update is going to re-enable itself again so don't make the mistake of just connecting uh to the internet without coming here to check first because if you don't check and this has re-enabled itself there's a probability it's going to drain your data because it's going to be updating and the files are sometimes very very large so it's going to take about 70 to 80 percent um signal of that's your internet connection and you just find that that every other thing you're doing is pretty slow that's because the automatic updates is draining your data it's using it anonymously without you knowing you understand that's why most times you try to shut down your pc or your laptop it's going to bring you bring a blue screen for you that okay do not turn off your system windows update is going on you see that is trying to win install windows update so that should tell you that it has downloaded some updates uh without your knowledge in the background so always disable 
windows updates to help save your mobile data so that's another good tip you must follow then another extra tip is if you're on youtube this happened to me i i was watching youtube on on the play on my laptop and it was on automatic video play and what i mean what i mean is after a video has finished playing it's going to play the next video automatically and before i could woke up before i woke up in the morning my data was gone like everything zero so i found out that okay the autoplay autoplay next video was on so always turn that off you understand always turn it off it is on by default you understand the youtube set it there to be on by default so always turn that off so after the a video finish playing you'll be the one to you know direct it or to choose what you want to do next not the app playing the next video automatically for you you understand this tutorial applies to people on a budget for students who are just trying to manage their internet data and all that so if you're not on a budget you have unlimited access to internet connection this video might probably not be for you but if after you've applied all of these tips and you know uh, steps and nothing still works out or maybe your pc uh shuts down randomly restarts does not shut down you know you, you just have some irregularities in the performance of your pc maybe it's time you reinstall windows 10 or 11 because most times uh after a while maybe after installing certain apps or your windows operating system we start having bugs and all that and you, you sometimes you just have no choice than to just reinstall another windows on it to save yourself the stress of troubleshooting and all that i'm not saying it's bad to troubleshoot but it's, it just saves you time and points you in the right direction if the problem you're facing is software based or hardware based if it's software based reinstalling windows can help fix that you understand then if the if it's a particular app you you get to know after installing the new operating system on your pc so you get to know if it's a, if there is a particular app that is causing such irregularities so i've made a video on how you can install windows 10 or 11 yourself i'll leave the link after the after this video i'll leave the link in the description or it will be suggested on the screen for you so these are steps to help you prevent your pc from draining your mobile data drastically without your knowledge this will help you in turn save money on internet data